Zo zie je, het is maar net of je het van de linker- of rechterkant bekijkt. Iemand die zich in zijn nieuwskeus in ieder geval niet laat beïnvloeden door politiek... is Bartek Benklarczyk. Hij heeft als journalist voor diverse onafhankelijke Poolse media gewerkt... en zijn connecties rijken tot in het Witte Huis. Hallo. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Tanya. Nice to meet you, Bartek. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. So you have a lot of pictures on the wall. I see oh. Trump. This is the newspaper from 2016, when okay. Donald Trump won yeah. the elections. I was covering the elections from, uh, uh, from the US, mm -hmm. so I brought the newspaper. This is a letter I got from the US president for my wedding. George Bush, congratulations yeah. on your wedding. Wow, that's so beautiful. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> May your new life together be a source of hope, strength and joy. There you go. I'm divorced since then, so... It didn't I... work out, but you but know. You, at yeah. least you have the letter. But I got the letter. <laughs> Bartek is hoofdredacteur van het onafhankelijke internetplatform Onet. Strijden voor vrije pers, dat deed hij al in de tijd van het communisme. I think um, Poland has one of the, the best media in Europe. And uh, even during the communist times, when there was no free media in Poland, we still had underground media. And we had the largest network of underground media in the history of the world. Uh, so when I was um, 15, 14, 15, 16 years old, I was in charge of a distribution of underground newspapers in Poland in middle schools in Warsaw. Wow. And the largest underground newspaper published about 50,000 copies every week illegally. So when the communists fell, uh, the free media just like boomed in Poland. And since then, we have a lot of free media. We never had a problem. We have a problem with the governments that want to destroy free media, but we don't have the problem with the free media. So, this is the main Muslim mm -hmm. of Onet. Bij Onet weten ze hoe rigoureus de vorige regering te werk ging om de vrije pers monddood te maken. A lot changed the last few months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Well, it became much easier to be a journalist in Poland. Uh, because this government still doesn't like the free media because no politician in the world likes free media. Because all the politicians everywhere want journalists to do what they want them to do. The previous government wanted to destroy free media. And uh, if they stayed in power after the last elections, we would be gone in the next few years. That was their plan. And uh, they went after us, and not only us, the, they, they tried to destroy all the free media in Poland. Just in my company we had about 350 court cases against us by either the government or the state companies or uh, government politicians. I was called to court over 150 times. But how do you pay for all these court cases? That's a great question. You know, the, um, uh, we are fortunate enough to be part of a bigger company. So, and they had enough money to hire enough lawyers to help us. But with the smaller media in Poland, uh, that meant death. So where is Onet in the political range? Yeah, well, Left, that's, right? That's an interesting question, because um, uh, it depends on who you ask. If you ask the right-wing politicians, they'll tell you, you know, we're in left-wing camp. But if you ask left-wing camp, they hate us just as much. And uh, we are hated by everybody. Of je als media nou links, rechts of in het midden zit, het vertrouwen is nog ver te zoeken. Niezależnie? Nie, ma niezależnie mediów. I'm a bit worried about the like a swing effect. So like one political party swings one way and it swings another and it goes from one one to the other side. When it comes to myself, I'm not worried because um, I think I know how to separate the true and the fake news. So you check your sources? Yes. Personally, yes, I do check. To mnie bardzo martwi, no bo prowadzi to tak jak już wspomniałam tutaj polaryzacji i tego, że jakby konflikty przecinają rodziny i właściwie ludzie nie potrafią ze sobą rozmawiać już na jakimś takim neutralnym gruncie, tylko jakby mają swoje w głowie jedno i jedyne prawdziwe twierdzenie. Hoe kan je nou zorgen dat je toch dat betrouwbare nieuws brengt? Ja, voor Poolse journalisten is dat soms best wel lastig, omdat je ook meteen gevraagd wordt in welk kamp zit je. Ook ik persoonlijk maak uh, toch regelmatig mee dat mij gevraagd wordt, oké, okay, aan welke kant sta je? Ben je links of ben je rechts? Ben je, uh, en ik zeg, ja, ik ben onafhankelijk. Ik ben gewoon van een Nederlandse krant, NRC. Onafhankelijkheid bestaat niet. Door wie word jij betaald? Weet je wel? Uh, die vraag krijg ik in Nederland eigenlijk nooit. En hier is dat heel erg normaal. Dus je hebt hier echt ook binnen de uh, journalistiek, zijn het verschillende kampen.